Hi, it's Andy. It's Watch What Happens Live After Show. I am here with one of the stars of Tyler Perry's A Medea Christmas in theaters on the 13th of December, Lisa Welch. <laughs> Kim Richards is here from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> Behind the bar, it's the host of What the Buck on YouTube.com. It is Michael Buckley. Hey, Michael Buckley. Okay, very good. Let's go to the phones for the ladies. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? This is Stephen James from Providence. Hey, what's your question, Stephen? Hey, so Lisa, I'm obsessed with you. You look amazing. What is your secret? <laughs> what is your secret? I mean, I feel like I'm looking at that. Not Bob Magazine from the 1980s, and I'm back oh, thank in the you. 80s. I love it. You're Australian. Looking fabulous, honey. Thank you very much. What's your secret? What is the craziest it? thing oh. that happened behind the scenes? Between you girls or George, all that, I need to know right now. Okay, all right, right now. Uh, well, I, most people don't know that Nancy McKean and I lived together for a while. Really? Yeah, yeah, wow. when it, she was just turned 18 and I was on my own, and so wow. we, uh, she lived in my condo with me. Wow. So lots of wild action there. Well, you know what? It's actually when she was dating Michael J. Fox, and so wow, yeah, we did some double dates. Oh my, some stories, this girl. Wow, she does have some stories. That's amazing. Wow, you you ask little questions, and like more info keeps coming out. I like it. Okay, um, let's go back to the phones for Lisa and Kim Richards. Call her. What's your name and from where are you calling? My name is Josh Hinkle, and I am calling from Greensboro, North Carolina. Hey, Josh Andy. Hinkle. Hey, Andy, I just want to say you are so funny and so great. Happy Hanukkah. Oh, thank you. My question is for Kim Richards. Okay. I just want to say that you are so attractive and amazing, and I wanted to know what you are asking for for Christmas. Continued sobriety. Um, and just my family to be healthy and happy and um, nothing special. I love it that all the gay guys are calling yeah. in saying how hot the girls are. And I love you guys. <laughs> okay, um, back to the phones for Lisa and Kim. Um, call her, what's your name and from where are you calling? Ray from Los Angeles. Hey Ray, what's your question? My question is, has Lisa, when she was a child star, did she ever date anybody famous that maybe we didn't know about that we'd love to oh, know I about? like this question. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, uh, Scott Baio and I. Oh, no. oh, oh, my God. oh, my God. Chachi. Did you date for a little while? or? We played racquetball together a few times and then. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> In the we 70s, that is a euphemism. <laughs> wow, that, no, I know, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Um, that is amazing. Wow, he was very, I mean, like, like he was like the one to date. He I mean, very cute. Major heartthrob. Yeah. Yes. Well, anyone else? No. No. And actually, um, oh. what's interesting is Blair kissed George Clooney on the show, and I didn't remember it until wow. a few years ago somebody said, what was it like? Kissing George Clooney, I said none of us girls did. It was he was just kind of a, a handyman. He was there was no love interest. They said yes, they... we have a, a, a video of it, and they showed me. I mean, the thing is, is I know that I mean I'm all for repressed memories, but that's not one I would that voluntarily. You would forget, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that's funny. Wow, that was a very big deal in the day when the the writers of Facts of Life wanted to write an episode where. Blair lost her virginity, and you were not comfortable with that at the time, and you said, I really don't want to do this. Well, it was a lot right. like what Kim is saying, as right. far as, you know, you very aware of the responsibility, and I know I knew a lot of young girls were watching the show. That's yeah. not something you can deal with in 17 minutes and a couple of commercials, and right. everybody ends up in a group hug. So it just was one of those things where, uh, just trying to be responsible. Yeah, and did you, and was that, and at the time, were, were the producers were good with they that? Were and you, awesome. yeah. They were awesome. They really honored it, and they got it. So right. I was very Grateful. That's you were the great. same producers we I had. Really? Didn't you? Alan Horn. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we had great producers. Yeah. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. Wow. Um, how did you lose all your money, oh, if I can right. ask? You know, just a series of things. The 80s, just as far as just everything fell at the same time, and then of wow. course a bit business manager that had a brother that got me into you know how that old story is wow. so classic. How do you how do you let go of that? Um, you know, you know, it goes back to the stories about, about Kim. Is that um, 
it turned out to be the sweetest time in my life because I had lost all of that. But then we lived in this little uh, home with three kids in diapers and living on my husband's salary, which was not very much. And yet, because of the just the simple life, uh, we really we just bonded it on, over things that were really important. So it turned out to be a great thing. I mean, I think there needs to be a Lisa Welchel story TV movie. I think that's a good. That I would watch it.